working on Fugly again this afternoon. Um, went ahead and built the uh, pattern for the forward bulkhead. Uh, we'll have to make two of these skins, which is pretty much the same thing I did on the transom. Uh, you can see how I kind of cut and fit the pieces around to provide a fairly accurate profile. So um, the only difference is I didn't have anything to tape it to. So I just went ahead and duct taped some blocks um, to the deck and then screwed them to this one by that I've been using for a straight edge. So pretty much the same thing. Um, next thing we'll do is lay up the skins, which are going to be actually a lot simpler than the uh, transom skin, and which is... Uh, I'll kind of show you the, the differences there that simplify the process. I'm fixing to lay up the two skins for the forward bulkhead. This is almost exactly like, well it's not almost, it is exactly like what I did for my first boat that I did, uh, Miss Morgan, which is a sleek craft. Um, her transom skin went from the deck all the way to the splash well and from gunnel to gunnel was a continuous thickness. So all I had to do in that case was lay up a flat piece of fiberglass, trace my pattern onto it, cut it out, and then tab it in. And essentially that's what we're going to be doing with the two skins for the um, forward bulkhead. Uh, the only difference is there's not a transom skin, so we have to actually create two skins, put spacers between them, glue them together, tab them in, and that creates a cavity space for the sea cast. So I'm going to get busy on this. We are recycling the uh, piece that we used, the MDF that we used for the transom form. Uh, stripped everything off of it, sanded it down, put packing tape on it, um, and we're ready to go. So I'll get these two skins laid up, and the next step will be, um, I haven't decided yet, it's either making the motor mount or cutting stuff out and starting to fit it. Um, probably just depends on how much time I have. So anyhow, get after this and get it taken care of. This is our old motor mount. As you can see, it's just a couple of 2x6s nailed together. Um, somewhere down there you can actually see the nails. And basically they just laid glass over the top of it. Um, it's actually pretty lumpy. So I built a form out of some more 2x6s. I actually put three of them together so that the legs are longer than they need to be vertically. And then I've laid it out longer than it needs to be horizontally and put four layers of 1708 on it. We'll tab it in and then actually when we tab it in I was thinking when I'm trying to keep it smooth I think when I tab the top in I'm actually just going to go side to side to try to keep this a, a coherent thickness or a uniform thickness across there so that we end up with a flat surface. But uh, That's it for tonight. Get this done and we've got the two skins done for the uh, false transom in the front um, I've got another little thing to build for the, uh, the transom. I'll show you that here in just a second. I'm back at the keyhole now. Um, the C-cast instructions call for basically cutting a plug out that's the thickness of the transom um, and waxing it, putting it in here, pouring the C-cast, pulling it out, then actually grinding back our, our skin on the outside um, and cutting the skin out on the inside and grinding it too and then wrapping um, chop strand um, from the inside to the outside. And I think the purpose of that mainly is just to encapsulate the end of the, uh, the C-cast because it's a stress skin panel. Uh, there's some shear forces that develop in there, probably pretty minor in this boat. Uh, and I think that's why they want to cap that to restrain the movement of the end of it. Uh, the transom assembly actually will compress it together, so that's not an issue and the C-cast itself will resist the compression. Um, so the only thing I can really think of, since it's waterproof, is, is it's a sheer consideration. We're going to do ours a little bit differently. Um, I usually like to try to follow the instructions, but one of the reasons I bought this boat was the gel coat was in pretty good shape. I really don't want to grind it back, and so we're going to try doing it a little bit differently. Um, that's one of the next things we're going to do. Um, and once I uh, get going down that road, we'll uh, make some more video and show you how we're going to do it.